Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the DSZ, the Days Genesis 8.1 3D avatar into the Character Creator 3 to make it become CC3 avatar. There are a few tips that you have to follow and start from now. I'm going to show you step by step. Alright, first I already opened my DSZ Studio. This is the DSZ Studio. And first, I'm going to load a Genesis 8.1 3D avatar. I'm going to choose it from the content library here. I'm going to add a Genesis 8. For example, I add a Genesis 8.1 basic female. This is the 8.1. Our tutorial is for Genesis 8.1, the latest version. So I double click to load an avatar here. And then next, I'm going to just give some hairstyle and also I'm going to give some clothing. Right, and hairstyle. Right, once done already, next have to go to here, the scenes, to check. You can see there are two Genesis 8.1 items, that is the female eyelashes and also the female tears. You have to delete both of, the, both of them. You click and press delete button to delete it. Right, and then Next, you have to go to the anatomy of the Genesis 8 female and then go and apply the Genesis 8 female eyelashes. And next, you have to go to the material here and apply the material of the eye rays and click the head first. Then double click the base material eyelashes, double click to apply it. And next, you have to apply the A-Pose. If you don't know where is the, the A-Pose, then you can just go to my video description, scroll down, go to my video descriptions. You have to add the A-Pose into here because of in this tutorial, you are going to use the Character Creator 3. So if you are using the Character Creator 3 to apply the A-Pose, you have to go to this location for CC3. Go to this location. You copy it and then right-click the file explorer open the file explorer click here Control v to paste and press enter you can see the a post is at here and t post is at here copy both of this you, you just select both both of this to copy copy into these locations these two locations copy the a post and t post folder into okay, these locations right click copy and then right click the file explorer Click and paste here, enter. This is the, the DAZ 3D library. And then the base poses, inside the base poses here. All right, under the base, uh, under the poses folder, just copy these two folder, A pose and T pose into here. Control A and Control, sorry, Control C and Control V to copy into here. This is the first folder. And next, the second folder, here, the male poses, copy and then paste it here, control V and her. Now, copy the A post and T post into the male folder as well. Next, close, close all of this. So now, you have to go to the poses. This is your Genesis 8 female, the poses here. So click. And you only can see the base poses, you right click. You cannot see the T pose and also the A pose. You right click and refresh. Then you should be able to see the A pose and T pose at here. You go and apply the Genesis 8 female A pose. Right? Just to double click it. Right, now it becomes the A pose already. Then, next, you have to go to the window. Go to the window workplace to select the layout. Change it from the city limits light 
to city limits then click Excel right at this moment click the content library and also next you have to click the window paint the tool setting drag the tool setting to the left to make sure it is one of the tab at here all right and then click here to untick the show aspect frame right then next next you have to click here edit tool setting and once you click here already have to click the stains and make sure that you click the hip to make it select the hip and at here you should be able to see a lot of things you just click here to make sure everything string down and we go to the surfaces you should be able to see a body you have to rename this body by double click it and type torso rename the body to become the torso and next go to the menu click edit and then figure and then choose scene identification right at here you can see the first one is the not name you can see it underscore one you have to delete the underscore and once to make it become genesis 8 email and the next one is the not label 8.1 you delete the point one to make it become genesis 8 email all right click accept done so this is the final step of the setting and now you can export it as fdx file right to export as fdx file then later you can import into the character creator tree by using the transformer tool so now this is a character creator tree i already stand by it there and then in your daz this is your final step you can export it as fdx file as demo, I'm going to export it on my desktop. I will create a new folder. I named this folder as DAZ Genesis 8.1 email. Alright. So I also press F2 to copy. Wait. I double click to open it first. And here I in this studio, I click file, export. Export it at here so i copy the folder destination location Control c and then back to here click and press Control v enter now we enter this folder then the file name i'm going to name this as daz genesis 8.1 female then export it as fdx then click save click accept now it is exporting the FDX file into this folder. All right now everything done, it exported as FDX. Next, in your character creator tree, you want to import int, right? Import the DAZ Genesis 8.1 avatar into the character creator tree to make it become a CC3 avatar. So in your character creator tree, click here, you can see a transformer click here cc3 plus and then this is on my desktop the daz genesis 8.1 female folder the fdx file is here double click to import it at this moment if you back to your folder you can see it automatic regenerate another folder and with fdm all the textures are here all right in your character creator tree you click basic this loading next you have to take big body texture and then the big maximum texture size you can choose whatever you want as demo I'm going to choose the smallest 1024 the texture profile always remember for your character creator tree the texture profile is in this location you can scroll down go to my video description I already put it there 
copy this folder destination occasions and then the texture profile you load it you click here control v to paste and enter you can see the texture profile for all of this so now this is the genesis genesis 8 female texture profile after you selected this one double click g8 female texture then the texture folder the texture folder you have to choose your fbm folder in your in the same folder beside the fbm so double click into this texture folder copy the, the destination location Control c to copy back to your cc4 i uh, sorry this is the character creator 3 cc3 click here click the folder Control v to paste and press enter it is already inside this folder click select folder and finally you click ok now it is importing the DAZ Genesis 8.1 avatar into the character creator 3 it will become a CC3 avatar just wait for a while it is loading now it is almost ready and done once done already now you can see there are some collision problems the cloth that imported this is really a cc3 avatar already how are you going to prove you can just try to test the morph of the full body for example you can change change the body that means it, it is really really become a cc3 avatar and now you can see the collisions the collision problems you can just press q and double click double click it double click the cloth the cloth right then click here edit the mesh click the scope click here this is to make it extrude just click on the collision parts and click edit the mesh again now it become better already now here one more point edit again edit the mesh scope it is somewhere here then click again now here settle no more collisions and now this part have some collisions right here here and here and also here three points right so i click i press q to double click again double click this then click edit mesh scrub to make it out so click here one two and three done then click edit mesh again now no more here one more point here edit mesh scope here drag it out drag it out all right now done here still have 2.1 and 2 edit the mesh scope here one and two done no more collision problem done. this is really a cc3 avatar already you import it from from the dsz genesis 8.1 done now so now we can just save it as a cc cc3 project become a character creator 3 avatar this is okay click the custom project and then you can just save it Save it as a CC3 project and name this as DSZ Genesis 8.1 female. Done. Right. That's all for today about how to import the DSZ Days Genesis 8.1 3D avatar into your character creator 3 CC3 to make it become a CC3 avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.